Welcome to Dan ARG YouTube. In Malwe, I go day with Apostle Alfred Uyinosa for Sapley Road. He come, come see the Stella Obasanjo Hospital with the Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki build. Make I leave you, make you hear from Imalwe Aibogun and Apostle Alfred Uyinosa. Enjoy the video. With my brother Emmanuel S. Aibogun to come confirm the work when I don't they talk to Obaseki do. You say, Apostle, for your sake, I will come and verify those projects. So we did for Stella Obasanjo Hospital, the new one and the reconstruction one is also going on. So make I give a mic, make you talk to us this morning. My brother, well done, sir. Yes. Uh a warm uh, good morning to Conscious Edo people and a very good day to uh, Compassion Edo across the globe. I remain no other person than your noble right activist, Comrade I. Bogu Emmanuel. And um, the last time I had had a stop with Apostle I was to see the Edo Mall. And um, today, uh, being the second of uh, April, I also made it upon myself to be here to see what is currently going on at the Stella Obasanjo uh, Medical Center here in the new city of Sapley Road. And before uh, we see a lot, I prefer to sit in with my eyes and uh, follow suit on what the progress so far is. Uh, I want to see from my eyes before putting out questions and stating what is obvious to me. That is, yeah, I'm not a biased man, just like uh, I found myself in the political atmosphere of our dear state. I want to see what the governor is doing and try to marry it with realities on ground. And thus far, I've been made to understand that uh, this section of the building has been completed and equipment are in and equipment are coming in. So I want to believe that uh, in no distant time, uh, the people in a few minutes will see what is going on here. I believe Apostinos have told you, but I am here to see for myself and also uh, see what I see. Uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. I can see the environment is looking very refreshed and uh, very accommodating. So let's see what's inside. All right. Thank you very much. Sir. All right. So thank you. So guys, let's go inside. Let him see things for himself. I said this may be not believe. So one go inside, make him see the equipment by himself. So he will not be the judge. Whether I will go for the equipment, come or my young will come for camp. So, my brother, so let me go inside. Wow, the place is cool. You are welcome, <laughs> sir. <laughs> the place is cool. So, this yeah, is one I of think, the. I, I think I'm seeing a lift here. Yes, there's a lift there. Okay. And it's off now. So this is where we have the swimming pool, where the cost is pool. Yeah. So we have that official therapy. Okay. That's all about it. Can see all the equipment? Look at the equipment. This is what camera comes from. I think this is a, a mobile application yes. operating menu yes. for, for, all the for ECG recorder and mobile application. ECG recorder and mobile application. Yes. So, so, this is the for physiotherapy. Yeah. yeah. With the course we yeah. We also have the sport facility. You know what that means already. Yeah. To aid the quick recovery of the patient. Oh, yeah, I get you on this. So wow. It's only if we have this kind of pool. Okay, it. okay, so what are all these? Uh... All these are not pool. These are for equipment for other uh, areas they've not put there. Okay. Yeah, these are more equipment that keep coming. More equipment that keep coming. So, everything has to do with clinic, hospital, we talk about hospital, clinic, whether ear, eye, nose, chest, everything that has to do with human beings. So, we have all the equipment here. So, let me take your answer. So, basically, you don't need to carry any of your patients to Lagos, to Delta, or to Abuja, 
or to, to fly them abroad. You don't need to do that anymore because you have all the equipment to be used. Okay, and, and I think this uh, this hospital will be connecting. It's going to connect that building also. Okay. It's going to connect, and it's going to also to connect the the, the construction of the other uh, building. Exactly. So it's going to be a medical hub, a complete medical hub. So that they also connect it to the Edo State and College of Nursing Science. So by the time they train the nurse to bring them here. Okay. For for practical uh, practices. You can see this is a mambo type. But this this is a new building. This is a new building. Look at uh, the other reception. You can show the people. So all the uh, offices are locked because of the equipment that are in there. Yes. So let's go up to the second floor. Yeah, hello. So, no, just so come to uh, Ring Road side, Sapner Road by uh, by uh, those specialists also to come. So that you can see. So okay, this is like this is like a, a reception. reception yeah. yeah. So also sick patients because that's the consulting room five. So for different consultants that they are coming here. Uh, one thing I one thing I notice is that uh, <laughs> I've been seeing this uh, number key. It's like uh, something that has to do with the uh, technology. Yes, sir. To gain access to so your office. The office yes, sir. Right. So we are no longer in the analog space. We are now experiencing digital. Okay. Uh, digital. That's why I call the government the Bible Fit Governor. <laughs> <laughs> so it's taking a due to, to to another rain. So come and have a camera. And this place is being powered by Osomo. As we speak. As we, this place I'm saying is Osomo. So the event you are seeing now is Osomo. Okay. Come on, see one of the Okay. okay. Well, lucky this one is there. Uh, yeah, this one is open. This one is also in the office. Okay, this one is Consultation room. Yes. This is a consultation room. Okay. So, you know, this is a lab machine. You can the body. So the last time we have things in uh, Europe, so the government had brought them down to a door. They don't need to go anywhere anymore. So let's go, sir. This is another construction room. This is another construction room. These are, these are, these are doctor's offices yes, for consultation. Yes, yeah. Wow. Fully equipped. And the computer, now we can also sit down to wait for the doctor. This is very much. So, this is another with the reception also. Then, Ross, come and start the pharmacy. Start the pharmacy. General pharmacy. So, this is general pharmacy. You can see. So, to bring it in the Yes, I saw one at the entrance. But this is the main entrance. Into the hospital. Into the hospital. Okay. What's what's this one? Hello? Are you done? More equipment. Sorry? 
Он гаджет. So this this uh, same finishing will be what will be applied to you. Yes, sir. Same thing. But I'm not sure what is that. Sure, of course. Now we also have another reception from the object. Okay. So patient is only to be sitting down, not uh, standing. Standing and waiting for your doctor. doctor. No, once you come, you sit down. You don't want to see it anymore. <laughs> they have already shown you already. So, okay, we just be happy with it. Good afternoon, bro. So please come. So, no, sir. I'll well, not be happy with you. Okay. Yeah, let me. Uh, Tinubu comes into the hospital. Where the budget comes in? So, maybe Tinubu comes for visiting, Tinubu comes to the hospital. We also visit that here. Okay. So, the idea of the government is that any hospital we cannot attend, it is not good for having the doma. That is the policy of the government. The same thing is also deal with all the primary health care. I will take you down to the primary health care if you will allow me. I will see the primary health care. In this block? In, no, outside this uh, environment. In order to do a go to Obama, you see the primary health care. Fully equipped. Fully equipped. If you go to the one at the local side, you go there and leave. Okay. Okay. So this is the dental lab side. No, it's your camera. It's a really dental lab. You see all the equipment. This is not borrowed equipment. This belongs to a dog. Cash pay money. This is our money. So let's go to another side. Okay. What's this? Uh well, quickly because I just now. I need a dental check. Okay, like this is dental wing of, uh, yes. of the hospital. Yes. Yes. Can you tell us what the all the things that we have in here? Like what we have to maintain. Let me give you the mic so that people can hear you clearly. So that they can really. I, want, I need to explain to our people. Okay. Those things uh, thing we'll be having here. Okay. Basically, from the ground floor, we enter the open building. We have the physical. The, the therapy department that is where we saw the gym yes. and the therapy pool. Then we have the the uh, cardiology department down there. Okay. Also the neurology down there. We have general consultant also down. Coming up here, as we pass, we become the eye clinic there. We pass it. We also have some general consultant which we are considering to make it for the therapy okay. consultant rooms as well. Yes. And then we have the OMG, that is the obstetrics and gynecology. Okay. Yes, for the pregnant mother. Then we also have the ENOs of foods, urology also is there, the endocrinology is also there. Hmm. If you count, what about, you see, heart? what about the brain? Yeah, they are, they are down. I, I okay, mentioned that. Yes, the neurology okay. yes, and the cardiology. Cardiology, the heart, okay. neurology, the nervous system, and even the brain, and even respiration. Also, it's uh, We're also talking about the OCD plant. Yeah, the, the the building is already set up at the back of the inpatient department. Okay, that uh, is our work is currently on the. We have the full standard gas plant. Okay, how many do we have in Nigeria? <coughs> or do we have any other? Uh, I, 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 I know we have in UBT. I think that's the only gas uh, oxygen plant we, we have, have in it. It. I think this will be. One of the major ones coming up. So we can vision from there that now they don't go to teach anymore, just come to the Yes, yeah. This is going to be a medical hub by the peace of God. And as you can see, even the administrative building so that all the hospital management, the Ministry of Health, anything, anything that has to do with health, with health they are all the patients here. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. So let me give my brother the mic. I think we have six of these uh, yes. This machine. Okay. 
Currently, one of the best in, Africa, in, in, in the whole of uh, West Africa. So, anything you can take up in Europe right now, anything that will make you to go to medical trip abroad, it can also complete it. You have no business going abroad. You have all the uh, facilities. That is the fiber optic governor. <laughs> that computer. <laughs> yeah, thank you for giving us access. Yeah, so you don't uh, abuse the. Yes. You see? We have six of them. There's another one there. Please come. So, guys, share this video. Please share this video. Very, very important. This is the future one. This is number five. So we can count. Look at it. I'm John 6. Okay. See the beginning. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Camera, please. Bring your camera. Can you share the video? They will not allow my brother. Emmanuel, so give it to the based on what he saw. <laughs> okay. Or do you have GP? No, General Electric. Yeah. Wow. Jesus Christ. Okay, so this ultra span is it just for pregnant mother? Yes, basically it's, this is for pregnant mothers, pregnant or pregnant mothers. Okay. And this is for the pregnant mothers. So the children, I don't know the I think we should. <laughs> Let us show. Not just, not just one. Let's go. Go and show. Remember this part I told you? Yes. There are some that are also going into the inpatient department. Okay. We also have uh, uh, mm. So what's this? What's this? Uh... Okay, it's a uh, it's a complete. Uh, I think the last thing for taking of white hand. The next one is on the top. Okay. For okay. 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 Uh, I don't think those people have this. Uh, that is why we talk about enter because of the way the food is made. The air condition, the place is cool. Yeah. So I think we cannot go to the other building. So we can do very much here. We have to go to that side. Okay. Um, basically, there are, there are a few things I have to say. Firstly, is to commend the initiative. It's to commend the initiative. And secondly, is to hope to see the initiative running because from what I've seen here, it's massive. I don't think any right thinking person will want to do this and leave it under lock and key. So the initiative is uh, to welcome the development. But as somebody who wants uh, the very best for our people, I will uh, continue saying that the basics for Governance is to deliver deliverable to the people, the ordinary people. 
And in a complex state like that, when people say the right thing is being done, reasonable thinking minds will want to allow it to be a consistent uh, practice. And in doing that, we must ensure that, you know, from procurement to law formulation to passage of laws and the actual implementation that we are seeing here, the processes is uh, elaborated to people so that in all totality, you can actually sit back and put the basis for comparison, put the basis for consistency, put the basis for actual, you know, project actualization. Because you agree with me that uh, this is not the first time I do a building hospital. And uh, what we are seeing here is that uh, people are trying to apply, you know, up to date technology that has not been seen for quite some time. I would also want to believe that uh, legislators who have legislated should also be doing an oversight that would further elaborate what uh, the cost of governance has been in actualizing this, uh, this massive uh, infrastructure. Uh, for me, what I've seen here, I think if uh, being put into proper use, the medical flights we are having, where people have to go seek for visa, go seek for transport uh, costs, buy very exorbitant flight uh, tickets, all in a bit to get what you see. I think uh, it's a win really, really situation for us as a day people. And I also want to believe that the accessibility, the accessibility should be very, very pronounced. So that at the end of the day, an average market woman and the poorest a woman on the street can also actually have access to these uh, facilities. So from what I've seen here, I, I, I commend the ideas behind it. I, I'm not a political mind that doesn't uh, say things the way they are. I'm always very objective in my thoughts, and I think in my few statements here, I have made it very elaborate that all hands must be on deck. Particularly for some of us who are position, our interest is to know uh, how was the running cost mm -hmm. from law formulation to procurement, procurement to actual implementation, which we are currently seeing. I know this has not been open for public uh, use for now, but I want to believe that uh, before the governor leaves office, this facility should be up and running so that uh, that gives him more credit. So, so for me, what I've seen here is very massive and uh, I think if we are allowed to have more of this, uh, what I call the other tools in the Torah district, namely uh, the center and the I think uh, other people will have the uh, business to be happy with our health system. Uh, I know there's challenges, and uh, those challenges, if uh, can be properly addressed, with all forms of sincerity. I think this same facility can be replicated across uh, the the Sinatra district so we can have access to better healthcare. But for this alone it's massive and I hope to see what is uh, on the other side. Even though do under construction but haven't seen this finishing I believe uh, it's a win 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 situation for the people. Yeah, thank you very much sir. Yeah. So let me go down this is a fire hot on the fire hot view. Okay yeah for safety it's a fight I didn't like. That's a great picture, but I didn't like. So, so guys, you can uh, you can see the whole all the equipment. So we'll go to that building. Yeah, sure. We'll go to that building. <laughs> Look at my people, the uh, official calabar, then uh, those are my way. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's a welcome. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a nice one. My brother, I do specialist hospital. You can see my boss very far far outside there. My brother, Edu, we're just there uh, if you want to stop for specialist hospital. A do specialist hospital, just by ring group. Hospital was from the view. So, 
or go to the this is the old station department. Yeah. Currently on a going a reconstruction. Okay. Yes. Not renovation. I mean reconstruction. Okay. This building was formerly built by uh, former government. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, under the supervision of uh, Dr. Yageli. Yes. I was very much aware of this uh, so, project. So what the government is doing now is reconstructing it to meet up with uh, international standards. Okay, hold on for me, I'll send you All these streets were not here before. Okay. Uh, these are the, the circuits of just open heaven circuit. So they need to redesign it so I can carry the AC. Okay. I'm putting a AC on top. On top of it, yeah. yeah. <coughs> so they started tiling in some of the offices. They started tiling. Okay, but is there is there a, a time? Yes. The, uh, the next, time execution? Uh, yes, in the next few months. Definitely, it's going to be commissioned before the government leave office. Okay. Definitely, it's going to be commissioned before the government leave office. That's why they are working day and night to ensure that they deliver. Okay. Yes. But it's going to be commissioned before the government leave office. Okay. So, this one is going to be taking care of it. has to do with medical. So, what the government did was to work on the primary health care, the same facility, to the one they cannot handle, they cannot okay, take them to the laboratory hospital. That is the idea. So that's why they're working massively on the primary health care across the city of Philadelphia, not just only in the So, how old all that you All these are new ones. Yeah, I can see. Oh, sorry. Okay, we're going to watch this
Absolutely. This is like a bed space. Yes. Hello? You said what? No, 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 sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I observed that the pillars have been here because of the deck. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Then we have to we have to do a lot of work here because the vibration. Okay. Yes. So we are going to be having the first scan here. The world standard. So we shall have another one here also. We have another one. Okay. Let's go up to a spot. You can pull it again. So, the case of electricity, the, the government will have two options. Uh, you have two options. You are going to be having a solar to power the equipment and hold your mom. Okay. For four hours. <laughs> yes. Okay. So how do we get upstairs? So definitely this is going to be commissioned before the government is on. Before the current last in upstairs. All the windows, they are working on the windows, working on the doors. The current tiling is working already. So this, this roof appears to be... Yes, it's good. That's why the government will change it. They okay. use quality material for the roof. Okay. Now what else? See the flat shot. Wow. That's it. What is that for the same time? You can see all these are new walls. Thank God you can see it for yourself. The material that look, they don't use for solid. Look at the block, solid material. So that's why this was were, were retained. Yes. Yeah, I'm not opening up for massive windows. You can see this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but these uh, COVID centers will still remain. Yes. For now. We have close to 300 feet of city workers. No, no, it's a massive work. Yeah. Okay. Good morning. 
really want to see what kind of career. Then you know how many persons that they remove from the phone for what they do. Automatically. Because they get money here to speak to the family and the rest. Central issue. Cause you need it. So that is the time. Now it's going. Now it's going. Just a decade more, more blocks yes. of. That one. Okay. So I said that you are going to connect this building to this and to that. If there is anything that has to do with medical in a door, this is where they are going to. Not that, oh, one would they here, one would they here. They one place. So, based on what you've seen, I think we don't need to talk much. Um, my conscious adult people. Uh, I want to believe that uh, any right thinking person seeing this would ordinarily uh, commend it uh, because uh, I agree you have a lot of hospitals, primary health care and uh, central hospitals across the state, but uh, repositioning them to meet best global standards is what is expected of any government. And uh, if this is currently being done, I do not yet open for public utility as the case may be. I think it is highly commendable. Uh, for somebody like me, I, I want to also see when this facility will be up and running so we can actually give kudos to all those who have been behind it. But thus far, what we are seeing, we are appreciating the work on site and uh, we want to believe that uh, there's a timely completion. Although Apostle has not been very specific, to say at such and such time, but he has said before the governor leaves, it will be commissioned for, for public use. Uh, I want to commend that also, and I hope to see it uh, come to pass. Uh, one very important thing I would also want to uh, talk on, as somebody who is of an opposition, is that we should see beyond politics and talk to the issues. Uh, for me, as somebody who is of an opposition, I would want to believe that there was a law formulation and there was also uh, uh, a, a procurement, and there's also implementation that we are seeing here. So in all of these three chains, I think other people should be carried along, particularly by legislators, and also by persons like Apostino, who is also always on the forefront, showing projects of what Obasaki has done. For me, I'm a critic, so I will criticize anything because I'm an opposition. I love politics from that perspective because it gives you room to sell your ideology and speak what the information that people want to know is all about. Uh, for me, I believe knowing the cost, implication of what this has cost other people, and verifying it with what has been available to government is the business of an opposition. And I will talk from that perspective. So having said all of this, I believe that the government of the day should be elaborate. The other day I went to uh, uh, a do mall, I saw it was massive. Apostino has also proposed the medical, no, sorry, a technical school, yeah. and also proposed the education, uh, education hub, and also proposed uh, a Greek hub, and said something about uh, the school of health, you know, and he said he was willing to go on and on and on and on. Uh, having said all of this, I believe there's a cost for procuring all of these things to educate yeah. people. So if at the high time educate people are aware of what the cost implication has you know has been for all of these things to be in place. Then we go to the drawing board and check what has actually been uh the resources available and uh, where are we correctly heading to uh to show that uh a do is not just a, a state but it's a state that you know it appears to be governing well or being governed well or yet to be governed well. We look at it from this perspective. But 
So far to what I've said, this project is massive. I commend it. And uh, I want to wait for the total completion and for open uh, uh, to, to public view. Once again, I remain no other person than yours, uh, noble activist, Comrade Bogey Man. But before handing over to Apostinos, I want to tell Apostle that uh, we are all working for the interests of the good people. And as a uh, crusaders of uh, good governance and uh, social justice and human rights, respect for human rights and law and order, I want to appeal to you to also talk to the governor. The stretch on the uh, Sapley Road, the street lights, let them look into it and also that the tower is making not to run regularly. That's on the uh, Iyaro axis, Ubahil axis, Abbo Road axis, Lindy Road axis, Ekenwa Road axis. We should see Bini, you know, lighted up so that at night people can have that feel of moving around within the city. I can, I can bet you small scale businesses will also be doing very well at that uh, hour of the day. Once again, I remain no other person than yours, no Buddha activist. I will continue to stand for what I believe is right for the people and say the way it is. I'm a critic, but I'm a critic with human feelings and a sense of good governance and deliverables for the people. This is where I want to draw it up. So, Apostle. And can I borrow my mic? You are very <laughs> So, guys, uh, like what my brother just said, I want to appreciate you, sir. It is show that yeah, you are a man with understanding, a man who actually desire the betterment of Edo. You don't just condemn, but also comment where necessary. I want to say thank you. Then the issue of streetlight, I think we'll address that on a later day. But like Igbo Bahi, they removed all the armor cable. Starting from the bridge, they removed all. Maybe the transformer by Naptev office at Igbo Bahi, what he did, he threw stone to, de to destroy the GMP to enable them to vandalize the ammo cable. I can take you there now. There is no cable. They have removed all. These are property. Sapley Road, they also go there to vandalize. What they do, they first of all hit the vehicle. You know what they want? But then you destroy one pole, the, the light will spark. They began to vandalize. So, this is the issue I have been crying about for a very long time. The light that they've been. Uh, uh, is it is it, it, it starts prayer money. Apostle, let me let me tell you something. I live in Dubai as you said. Yeah. I'm a Dubai boy. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you that those things are not done by Dubai people. Who 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 is? Uh, I want to believe that this uh popular Okay. Those are also guys. Challengers who go around in the night. Even in the FCC. I'm privileged to have been in Abuja for some time. Even in the FCT, you see them moving kids. These iron caves they used to close up uh, uh, drum edges yes. from allowing debris to pile it up. You see them going to scavenge it, pull it out at night, even up to CCTV cameras, the panels, they go there to remove it. And at the detriment of uh, the government replacing them, because nobody will do that. But for the credit to government, I'm saying for the credit to government, I'm an opposition, I could be shouting that, oh, it's a fake work they do, so standard work. Well, let the light be up and running. That is my that is my quest. Also, uh, for me, I want to believe that uh, if the governor goes there to correct what is wrong and gets the youths, gets the youths of Ubai involved, involved to protect those uh, infrastructure right all the way from Rama Park down to the bridge. I don't think any Dick and Harry will go there because once it is six thirty seven in the evening, the light is on till six in the morning when it's being pulled off. I don't think any. Right thinking person will go there and uh, temper with it. But when these things are just done and they are being left for government officials who come from uh, Ekenwa Road to come and on light in Dubai and drive back to Ekenwa Road, at, at the end of the day, something might go wrong. But if the people that are on ground are made to secure it, I can bet you nothing will uh, happen to it. So that's the area I think. Uh, you have a strong point. So, guys, we want to say thank you. The uh, man and my brother have made very strong points, and I believe the state government will look into that. But I also need to let you know that the government is already uh, proposing uh, solar for the Bobai has it. They are already proposing that. I just believe in the next few few months you will see it running. So other area that be vandalized, the government have taken upon himself again to procure more new transformers and a cable, which is not really uh, going that way with me yeah, because it has prayer money. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like like uh, I, I've always noticed that Iyaro's uh, corner is always on, yeah. 
And I believe if you go deep to look in, into it, I believe those youths were carried along. And, and were carried along. So you cannot vandalize it. See, you see, things that are done for public use, once the people that ought to benefit from it, I drive all the time in the night, heading to Dubai here, most times living in Dubai here for the city center or one part of the name. And I know how it feels coming down from the slope, very dark. I know how it feels going up the slope, very dark. I know the risks are involved. You know, but when these lights were initially fixed for the few weeks it ran, it was marvelous. People were commending, but all of a sudden it went off. I'm really just sharing from you, even if I live in the body, which yeah. is very sad. But I'm, I, I'm strongly telling you that if you put that light in place, get the youth from the Bubai Hill slope before the bridge, and up the Bubai Hill, or uh, uh, on that stretch, Nothing will happen to those uh, facilities because those persons who should be looking out for it will always make sure your eyes are on it. Wow, so, so thank you very much. So, guys, I want to say thank you. This is how far we'll go. As you can see, just uh, let them just see the ambience of the place. So, guys, I want to say thank you for sharing this video. We will continue to join together to make Edo great. Now, so they be, Edo belongs to every one of us. So, guys, I want to say thank you. Remember my name is Shima Apostle Alfred or John Inosa. I don't know if uh, a guy man will permit me to carry and go somewhere, but not today. Not today, not today. So you permit me because there are still more projects I need to show you, sir. Uh, for me, for me, I want to believe that uh, I cannot be talking about an opposition without seeing things like this. Yes, sir. The beauty of democracy is that uh, the minority always have their, their, their say, while the majority have their way. The power in government is the PDP. But today, they have the majority voice because uh, they are in government and the majority of the people have supported them at some point. And uh, for myself, who is of uh, the opposition, I want to believe that uh, uh, our voice, even as minority, should be heard. And our voice should not be heard on just rendering insults or mm. talking, promoting tribalism or whatever. Our voice should be heard on talking about the real issues that are centered on governance. And I think if there's anything that is centered on governance, when it has to do with the health sector, is what I've been through today. So if anybody asks me, uh, what are you seeing about the health sector, I should be able to say, this is this is this is that has been done. This and this and this and this is what they are doing. And this is and this and this is what they say they will do. Having gotten XYZ amount of money and they stay in this state, then people will be informed about what governance is all about. Not just come and speak on uh, the basis of uh, written uh, uh, rhetoric. We are seeing it. It is governance. It is practicable. Uh, practicable. You can see it. So you say what you see and you explain to the point in which they are. So whatever time you feel is accommodative for us to move around, I mean, Benin, even each time I go out of the city, I always come back to the state by the grace of God. So we'll go around and uh, see all of this so that the people can know. So that if tomorrow when I'm talking about what I saw about government, people will know that yes, this is not a biased uh, person. So that is who I am. I am, I am somebody who, who will go to any length to prove to the world that what I am seeing is not what to be. I was part of those persons who criticized the demolition of the uh, Edo, Edo Library. When I went there, I saw what the government did. I commended and I asked vital questions. Who are the investors and why was six billion invested into this? Uh, uh, you know, I don't have the right to say government don't spend, but I have the right to say government, why have you spent this and what and how accurate is this expenditure? That should be the business of opposition, not just to only, you know, cast as fashion. Because, because we ought to form, you see, the beauty of democracy is that everybody is involved. Whether you are out or you are in, you are involved. And when you're being in, involved as someone like me who is out, who is not in government, is to ensure that, uh, we, See what government is doing, evaluate it, and state it the way it is. That is, uh, that is the beauty of democracy. That is what we were made to understand from the dictates of uh, our Nogata democracy to government for the people, by the people, and of the people. So, my conscious of the people, uh, you will see more of this video. I don't mind joining Apostino Sato wherever it's going to at my free time and also his free time, but I also want to believe that what our discussion should be centered on is on the establishment and implementation and formulation of governance, whether law or projects, you know, that is it. So once again, I remain Komegai Bogun. Do expect more of my, my depositions and actual visitations to this project so that when we see things, people know that yes, we have seen, we have observed, and we can comment and we can criticize when necessary. 
That's the beauty of democracy. Thank you very much. Wow. That's the beauty of democracy. So, guys, thank you. God bless you. Share the video. My name is Jimmy Apostle Alfred or Dion Oinosa. The man with the talk and the show and the drum as you be. Remember, go and verify and testify. Bye. Now we don't hear from Emmanuel Agogun and Apostle Alfred Uyinosa. Let us know what you think for comment session. If you never subscribe to Dan ARG YouTube, try make you subscribe so that make you for the hear all the things where they happen for Nigeria. Make I leave you with this video, make you help or share them. Thank you for watching Dan ARG YouTube.